I'm Sharmila Mehta with Keller Williams Realty here in Austin. Welcome to my show, Champion with Sharmila. In today's episode, we're going to talk about what the market is doing. So first quarter of 2019 is behind us. Let's take a look at how the housing market has fared. Well, um, the year continues to be really strong, especially in Austin. And as most of you know, Austin has been named once again the best city to live in. So we're all excited because, hey, those of us who are living here, we picked the right place. Um, there's one challenge, though, and that is we have a crisis in terms of not having in, enough inventory. What that means is that there is just not enough homes to choose from because sellers are you know, either renting or they're just you know, not moving from Austin, so nobody's selling. That is true, of course, for certain areas where there are good schools and uh, you know, there's no new construction. Now, let's take a quick look at four important aspects of, of you know, four different things that will tell you what, where the housing market is. Let's look at the interest rate. Interest rate as of uh, end of March were at 4.26% uh, and that is compared to January lower. Uh, in January, it was about 4.6%. This is for a 30 year fixed loan. Um, and Fed has decided not to increase uh, interest rates for a while. So that's good news, uh, especially if you're a buyer, please, you know, this is a good time for you to lock in those um, uh, lower rates. Then let's take a look at um, the median price. Median price in Austin was at $305,000 as compared to the US uh, national price at uh, uh, about 250. So we are a little more expensive than the average uh, uh, city in, in, in the US. However, if you compare Austin with big cities like Miami, New York, Chicago, um, uh, San Francisco, we're uh, you know, still more affordable. And we still, Austin offers a great lifestyle. So that's, that's great news. Um, let's let also take a look at number of uh, um, uh, the inventory. Again, inventory tells you whether it's a seller's market or a buyer's market. And if it's around six months, you're talking, looking at a, a balanced market. And guess where our inventory is? We are at 2.4 months, which means it's definitely a seller's market. Um, again, there are certain areas where there is new construction, and so they you know, will have more houses to choose from, and things may stay longer on the market. If your price point is higher, don't think that your house is going to sell quickly. Um, so, uh, you know, it all just depends. These are all average numbers. And then the last thing that I want to um, bring up uh, is, is the average days on market. That kind of tells you if you were to put your house on the market now, how many days will it stay on the market? And we are at about 64 this year. And last year around the same time, it was 61. So the market is kind of similar to what it was in 2018. Um, so I think that pretty much wraps up some key important aspects of the housing market. Hope this information was helpful. Until next time, I'm Sharmila. And if you think this information is uh, uh, valuable to you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great week. I'm Sharmila.